You know, most uh, sons and daughters of the casualties of, of Vietnam, Afghanistan, and, and other wars as well are probably too young to actually remember their fathers or just have sort of vague recollections of them. Like thousands of others, my father was killed in Vietnam. Um, so he was killed June 3rd, uh, 1968. So here uh, on Father's Day, both obviously to uh, celebrate him, think of him, um, and also to, to um, think of all that he did for me and how uh, his integrity, his, his spirit, his standards um, still helped lift me up, helped support me even after uh, 30 plus years. So he's still very much with me. An estimated 20,000 men were fathers who were on this memorial. Behind every name on this wall is a son, a daughter, a husband, a wife, a, a father, a mother. This is our family coming together to honor not just the moment of the death, but to honor the life that was lived and the service given this country. In the months leading up to Father's Day, we ask our supporters around the country to send us cards of tribute and remembrance, and we've assembled a group of volunteers to take these many thousands of cards and fix them to the stems of roses that uh, represent uh, important things. The red roses actually represent people killed in action in Vietnam, the yellow for those who remain missing. There'll be a white rose wreath placed today to symbolize those uh, who've died during some of America's most recent conflicts. Having been raised in Vietnam, raised here, wearing the United States Navy uniform right now, it just feels like I'm a part of history. And it's this kind of bridge that, uh, that gap through, through time. And more so because of my Vietnamese heritage, that it links me so close to at least to the, the wall because but for the names of the men and women behind me who sacrificed their all, I may not be here. Everybody who sort of serves in the combat operation is sustained, I think, psychologically by things that they remember most uh, back home and the people they're close to emotionally and, and uh, with family ties as well. Heather was born nine months after I returned from Vietnam. So she was a signet of a new life. I think that my experience of, of coming here has been very emotional. Um, um, you know, I wouldn't be here if my dad's name were on that wall. And every time I come here, I remember that. I was born nine months after dad came home. And I think of that. I think of all the kids um, who didn't grow up with their dads. At the end of the ceremony, uh, family, friends, and volunteers will take roses uh, down to the wall. Each message will be read aloud, and each rose will be touched to the person's name. So on this Father's Day, may your fathers continue to lift you up. And may this wall give you hope for a better tomorrow.